On the highway of life, you can take any path at any speed. Some like to take the slow, scenic route. Others need more of a rush and more pressure. They do it fast and furious. This is where a can-do kid gets his start. Tim Miles is one of 13 graduates in his class from Dolan High School in South Dakota. Small towns, you do all the sports. You know, I played football, basketball, ran track, I was in the one-act plays, the three-act plays, student government, baseball in the summer, American Legion, ba American Legion baseball in the summer. You had to do all those things, and so, um, to make the team go. Otherwise, they you know, wouldn't have a very good team, and, and they didn't anyway. But, uh, uh, but it's no fault for uh, trying, at least. But coaching basketball is Miles' passion, and he hits the highway to Mayville State University. A small college with not a lot of pressure. Mayville State was at that time maybe 600 students. And um, uh, they were coming off horrific basketball, just uh, 10 wins in three seasons. Two and 22 the year before I got there, two and 22 the year before that. And uh, we were able to, you know, get some guys in and get it going. Miles goes 35 and 22 in his two years in Mayville. Now it's time to hit the road with some added pressure. Next stop, Southwest Minnesota State University and Division II, where Miles doesn't have a losing season. We were able to take Southwest State from kind of a relatively unknown that hadn't had a lot of success, only one winning season in like 13 seasons before we got there. And we had four consecutive, and at the end we were ranked as high as, I don't know, I think we ended eighth in the country, maybe as high as number four at one time in the country. Won 28 games, won the league, won the NCAA regional, went to the Elite Eight. And, and we did it with guys right there from the area. Guys who were really invested in the school and the program and wanted to build a winner. After a couple of years and unprecedented winning, Miles hits the road again, this time to Fargo, as the head coach at North Dakota State University. As if the pressure wasn't high enough, less than a year into the job, Miles goes from being a Division II coach to being a Division I coach. We had a lot of amenities at, in Fargo and a lot of good things going for us. And, and, and I, was, I was looking forward to it because we need to jumpstart a little bit. I was the fourth coach, I think, in six or seven seasons. And, um, and sure enough, uh, uh, I'd been there, I think, nine months, and, and the AD pulled me in and said, we're going to Division I. So that good job turned into a, a now Division I job. Okay, well, good. What league are we in again? We don't have a league. Uh, oh, well, what's the, what's the, how long is the wait for postseason? At the time, it was 13 years, and they lopped eight, eight off of that and made it a five-year deal. Uh, but we were able to kind of get through the Division II thing. After a couple of years and unprecedented winning, Miles hits the road with more pressure to Fort Collins, Colorado and the Mountain West Conference. Miles puts his recipe to the table again, and again it works, as the Rams receive an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament. We were fortunate because once we got Colorado State the national tournament, we'd done it in the NAI level, we'd done it Division II, and we'd done it Division I. We'd, we'd gotten every conceivable four-year level except Division III. Um, and I'm not going to coach Division III quite yet. Move the ball, play defense on the ground, <coughs> stay down on fakes, guard, guard, guard. Got to be ball tough. After a couple of years, make the NCAA tournament, you get the idea. It's off to Lincoln and the Big Ten Conference. With the job comes a lot of pressure. Brand new Pinnacle Bank Arena opens in the 2013-2014 season, and a diehard fan base wants a winner. I think it's important uh, to energize our fan base about basketball and give them something else, that, another feather in their cap. You know, when it comes to Nebraska, we've got a lot of feathers. We've got football, volleyball, uh, women's gymnastics just won the Big Ten. You go down the line, and Coach Irv says he's going to put one in there in baseball, and I hope to put one in there in men's basketball. And Connie Yori and what she's done in women's basketball is a feather in the cap, and, and we just need to add a couple more feathers in there, and I think it'd be a pretty cool thing. On the road, life changes in an instant, and success is guaranteed to no one. Tim Miles knows only one speed, full throttle, knowing speed bumps are bound to come his way. But with pressure all around him, Miles has stayed the course raising expectations everywhere he goes.